Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So we're talking about California yet again. It just never seems to stop in that state. But this time at least, it's for something good. We're talking about AB92, which is California's body armor ban. There have been some major updates. This bill is still sitting in the assembly. It does still look like it's going to pass, but they made some amendments to it. That's what we're going to be talking about today, so stick around. Okay, so let's go and talk about what's going on here. So we're talking about AB92, which is California's body armor ban. I made a video about AB92 in the past, and it's a pretty broad bill. It basically bans the purchase and transfer of body armor from anybody in the state of California. That's it. You're cut off. You can't have it anymore. Now, according to this bill, you were allowed to keep what you already had, but you couldn't get anything new. And so anybody who hadn't bought anything yet, that was it. You were, you were out. Now, if you were part of an exempt group, being law enforcement, security, military, and those types, you got a special exemption from the state. Now, try and keep in mind that body armor is protected by the Second Amendment. If we take a look at the definition of arms from the time that the Second Amendment was ratified and that our Bill of Rights was written, it specifically says in just about every dictionary that arms are anything that's held in your hand or anything that's worn for your defense. So that would be body armor. It's worn for our defense. Well, that bill, AB92, went into committee. Then it came out of committee and it was amended. Now, it was a massive amendment. They changed this bill completely and that is the big update because it's not what it was before. And in my opinion, this is a big win. So let's go ahead and talk about those, those amendments that were made and what the bill looks like now. So what you're looking at right now is a striked out version of the original bill. So this is what it originally read. This bill would make it a misdemeanor for any person to purchase or take possession of body armor unless they are employed in specific professions. This bill would additionally make it a misdemeanor for a person, firm, or corporation to sell or deliver body armor to any person not engaged in one of those professions. So you can see right there in the original bill, not only did it ban armor, but it banned stores from selling that armor unless it was to somebody that was in one of those exempt categories. And so all these stores across California that had inventory would essentially lose that inventory. They would lose that income. So it was going to cause a lot of problems on the business side and just on the average, you know, everyday citizen side. So let's go ahead and take a look at the amended version now, which is much smaller uh, than the original version, which went on for quite a while, but I didn't need to read the rest of it. I think you got the point. So the, uh, the amended version, which you're looking at here, says this bill would make it a misdemeanor for a person who is prohibited from possessing a firearm under the laws of the state uh, to purchase, own, or possess body armor as specified. So we basically went from the original text that banned body armor from everybody in California, unless you ended up in one of those special categories, to the new text, which just says that if you are a prohibited person in the state of California for firearms, then you're prohibited from body armor as well. Now, that's great that they're not trying to ban it from absolutely everybody, but it's not a complete win. And I'll tell you why. And that's because a lot of the laws of California are just out there, right? I mean, they'll get you for just about anything. So there's a lot of people out there that haven't really done much or anything at all that have some type of five or 10 year prohibition on them, right? So it's something that they can overturn in time, in which case they're still not able to get armor. So not everybody... Uh, is you know in the clear with this so it is nice to see that it's just not an outright blanket ban in the state of California that is a big win I mean it's a, it's a huge win I know a lot of people were nervous you know a lot of people that you know are really paying attention to this and following it closely so that is great but I don't feel like it's a complete win until they just drop the bill altogether because again these people that have these small prohibitions for a certain amount of time that didn't really do much to get them because California will get you for just about anything these days. Uh, they're going to be prohibited for now two things. So a passive way of protecting yourself and an active way of protecting yourself all going to be off the table for them as well. So uh, again, 92 is still in the assembly. It's going through the process. As a matter of fact, it just passed committee uh, and it passed committee unanimously. It was a seven to zero vote. Uh, through committee. So it looks like it has complete support and then it's going to go to the floor for a vote and you know in the Senate it's got to go through the process and then be signed by the governor. But uh, again just the fact that they have an you know outright majority out there I don't see anything stopping that from happening. But at least for now the outright blanket ban 
is off the table. And I wanted to let you guys know about that because, again, it's, it's pretty big news. And you don't usually hear anything positive at all in California. And this is pretty positive. So I wanted to share that with you. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and you guys have a great day.